Awfully nice day after a long summer. Chris, opening night. 153 left to play in the first. On the floor for Detroit. Marcus Morris is out the out there with Aaron Baines. And it's Udrich. And there's Jackson. And it's Morjanovic in at the five, roaming the paint. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. That would have been lucky had it fallen four shot selection. Well, that's just not wise to take that shot in that situation. He'll think better of it next time around. Detroit's gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. Here's Jackson. And unable there to get the go-ahead bucket. As soon as he made his drive to the bucket, the defense jumped right in and prevented him from finishing out. As do Nogueira. From about 16. And the shot no good. A bit short. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. Morris kicks to Jackson. And it's Udrich in the corner. That's good. And it's Jackson with the assist that time. Udrich has got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. They set the screen. Here's Prez. Rebounded by Jackson. Pistons leading by three. To the paint. Here's Marjanovic. And he starts out with the miss in this one. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. In the corner, Powell with it. Nogueira kicks to Joseph. Now here's Powell. He's guarded closely. Misfires after coming off the pick. And no excuse there for missing that one after being freed up by a great pick. Oh, trust me, he's kicking himself for that misfire. He knows he should have hit it after that tremendous pick gave him the necessary space. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. Pistons ahead, up three. The second quarter coming up. You know, it's a humbling feeling to be in the NBA. Well, you don't see that kind of perspective with most rookies, you guys. No, you don't. And the Raptors going out now with a whole new group. Here's Smith. They lead by six, their biggest margin. Now, when you watch this Detroit team play, you can't help but think about perhaps one of the most legendary teams ever to play in the NBA, the Bad Boys Pistons. The amazing team that would deliver back-to-back -back titles to my city of Detroit. One of the toughest teams ever in any sport. And Detroit, looking at who they've got. Aaron Baines out there with Marjanovic. Then there's Ish Smith, and it's Udrich, and it's Morris in at the small forward. And those back-to-back -back titles for the bad boys coming in 89 and 90. One of the few teams, Chris, to get the better of Jordan for a brief stretch of time. Well, I'll tell you what. I grew up on this team. My home, Detroit. I love this team. The Pistons, the bad boys. This was a team full of characters, and they were all tough as nails. Zeke was the leader, but one through five, and on the bench, everyone would put an elbow in your chest to discourage your shot. Here's Young. Cranes the jumper to finish the break. Young's got his first points in this one. And really, Young is never going to pass up a catch-and-shoot opportunity. He's remarkably efficient with those kinds of shots. And that's out of bounds. Detroit will retain possession. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played... And the wide-open shot for Morris. Again, the miss by the Pistons. Uh, you can bet if he's left open from there again, he's probably going to knock that one down. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Well, the league and NBA teams have become much more aware of protecting players' health. And they're finding out that rest and sleep are a huge part of that. Warriors head coach Steve Kerr said medicine and science have improved and thought processes do as well. And I he said in the still. old days, guys played 48 Residential minutes. Pardon. Well, we've made advances. We don't go backwards with this stuff. We go forwards. And guys, that's why they want their players off their feet as much as possible. Good report, D.A. Thank you. Frez with the ball. Now Smith defending. And the shot is good. Dropping in off the front of the rim. Now just a one-point piston lead. Knocked away. It's stolen by Prince. A pull-up. 
And again, it's Toronto converted. Well, mark it down, fans. This is the official debut of Prince. The very highly touted rookie is seeing his first NBA action. And he's put a lot of work into this moment and had to overcome a lot of hurdles in his life. Hats off to the kid, and I hope he meets and surpasses his own lofty expectations. Powell with the steal. And here again, the Raptors in transition. Up the court they go. And finish off by Prez. You have to love the penetration from Prez. Just absolutely fearless in how he exploits the defense. And the first half comes to a close. We've got it. Bring it in. We have not won this game yet. Hey, if we let up on D even a little, it's... And now the start of the second half. Neither side jumping out ahead through the first two quarters. One of the stories here, Kyle Lowry getting it done today. Well, anytime you can get to the free throw line with that kind of consistency, that just makes every other facet of the game easy. Uh, slashing hard to the bucket in the first half, almost looking to draw contact. You love that kind of fearless play. Pistons, an entirely new group now out there. Pistons trail by 11. Prez in its shooting guard. Nogueira out there with P.J. Tucker. Then there's Norman Powell. And it's Joseph in at the point. That's the five out there for the Raptors. Will not go. This is off the front iron. Detroit's gone one of four and three-point shots here in the third. And the Raptors, they've come a long way over the past few years in terms of their competitiveness. And, and what I like about the Raptors' Marcus. front office, they're unafraid to reshape the team when things aren't quite working. Two years ago, they were much more about offense than defense. Last year, they were an upper echelon defensive team, even if the offense suffered a little bit. And how about the precision there of Prez, keeping his balance and getting the shot off despite the obvious contact. The Raptors making a switch here. Young's checked in. Udrick up top, defended by Young. Left side, Jackson. Stolen by Joseph. Fast break, Toronto. Joseph leading the charge. No one near Prez as he lets it go. The quick look, no good that time. Pistons trail by 12. And Udrick kicks to Jackson. Pistons passing it around. Out to the wing. There's the pass to Morris. Shot clock at six. And it's out of bounds. The Raptors will take it the other way. Serge Ibaka, he's checked in for Preds. Forty seconds left in the fourth. On the floor for Detroit. Morris is down low with Drummond. Jackson is out there with Udrick, and it's Caldwell Pope in at the three. And the Raptors miss again. Well, the comeback hopes are out the window now. I think it's safe to say. Disappointing to say the least. They couldn't complete the opportunity to get back into this one. They couldn't complete the opportunity to get back in this one. And stolen by Drummond. Over in the corner, Caldwell Pope. Another miss by Caldwell Pope. Here's Prez. No good. And so Toronto takes this one, but by a big margin. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. And it makes a big difference. Once they started to really play,